Hello my friends and welcome back to another Super Mario Maker 2 video. Today we're taking a look at more hand plucked levels within Super Mario Maker 2. These are levels that I've been wanting to play but just haven't had the time to sit down and do it and we change that in today's episodes. It's going to be a mix of Kaizo levels, music levels, unique levels, just fun platforming levels. Anything goes in these levels. Let's go ahead and fire it on up. <laughs> the first level of the day is made by Daft Life called Bean Burrito Line at the DMV. If you've ever been, you know it's true. <laughs> I think I know what we're about to experience, friends. I think I know what we're about to experience. <laughs> This is exactly, as soon as I saw the clear condition was wearing a Goomba helmet, I knew this is what it was going to be. And as someone that has been to the DMV many times, oh my goodness, does this feel too accurate. Also, did you know that if you crouch <laughs> while wearing a Goomba helmet, you walk the same speed as the Goomba? Oh my goodness, this is going... <laughs> This is going to take forever, friends. Oh my goodness. Honestly, this is super fitting to the Bean Burrito series of levels. It is right up there with Bean Burrito 2. Tell you what, uh, I'm gonna keep playing this one, but, but while we wait, let's go to another level. Ooh we that level Dave's playing looks rough. While he's playing that one, let's play an actual fun one called Explosive Cave Games. Okay, here we go. We got a key from the bomb. Oh, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, I think we got a... Oh, that's awesome. So these are like, kind of like mini games. You have to explode the bomb. So the key is inside the bombs. Oh, this is so cool. What a cool idea for a level. All right, let's go through the door next. Oh, 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 bunch of different mini games. That one felt like a WarioWare game. Go oh, Checkpoint City, Save Point. It's a beautiful city, that Checkpoint City. All right, what are we gonna do now? Oh, gotta be fast. Our, our uh, <laughs> window of opportunity to get in the pipe was shrinking, so let's keep going here. Fire Flower. So wait, what is going on here? Oh! So we need to spit out a bomb. There we go! Boom! Shakalaka! Let's go through the key door. Oh, gotta shoot the bomb. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, that was really, really cool. We got really lucky on our first shot there that it, it made the bomb explode. Through the kumquat. Oh, it says run. Okay, second checkpoint, it's Christmas. Run to the left. Holy rip, that changed things up a little bit. This is awesome! Oh! Where did that star come from? I don't even know where we got the star from. Oh my goodness, that level was absolutely amazing. It was one of the top ranked normal levels and I definitely can see why. We should probably go check in on Dave at the DMV and see how he's doing. Hey, thanks Dave. Yeah, we're sitting here about 375 seconds left to go. The line, it, it's getting smaller, but you can't really tell. It doesn't feel, it, it's like one of those things when you're driving to Vegas, you can see it in the distance, but you don't feel like you're getting any closer. This is, <laughs> this is what this level feels like. Let's go back and watch. Another level. Now we're gonna take a look at Asgore by a Japanese creator. I think this is gonna be a music Kaizo hybrid level. As a big fan, like the Undertale uh, soundtrack is one of my favorite soundtracks in all of video games. So I'm very excited to play this. And Asgore is my favorite song from, uh, from the series, so. Okay, hold on, I gotta turn it up so you guys can hear this. Oh 
Oh, this is so cool. Said we have to survive 30 seconds. Let's go. This is not a Kaizo level. This is a survival level. It's a vertical music level, dude. That is insane. Oh no, 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 it's almost there, it's almost there. I see the mushroom. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay, we're through the door. Let's go, through the door. Yo, Checkpoint City, it's a beautiful city, that Checkpoint City. Hit me more with that beautiful music. Okay, this time we have to survive for 60 seconds. Let's go! Ah! <laughs> no stinking way! No stinking way that just happened. Okay, much better this time. Much better. Much better, dude. Second checkpoint, it's Christmas. Another 30 second one. Oh, oh goodness gracious. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh my goodness, this is like, this is legitimately tough and amazing. Got one hit, two hits, two hits, let's go, let's go, let's go. No! <laughs> oh, it's coming back! No, 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 no! That was a legitimately intense boss fight. Like, my hands were gripping the controller super tight. I think we can turn the volume down now. Oh, it's not over? Wait. Oh, how do you get the key? Oh, I... How do you get the true ending by not killing him at the end? Oh my goodness. Well, we try and process that amazing level we just played. Let's go ahead and check in with Dave at the Bean Burrito DMV. No, I lost it. I lost it. I lost it. I lost it. No. Hang in there, Dave. We're rooting for you. The next hand-plucked level we're going to take a look at is called Mario the Photographer. All right, we got our nice DSLR camera. Probably a Canon. Maybe a Kodak. Hi. There's... <laughs> so I love it. Is this the front desk? I feel like this is the front desk. And we're going up the stairs. What's in here? Is this just the window? Oh, a one-up. Nice hot ding-dong. Let's go through here. Oh, 
this is awesome. This is kind of like looking through the photo lens. <laughs> That's so clever. That's actually really, really clever. Now I get to take a picture of a Goomba. <laughs> little does it, little do we know that shooting them, we're actually killing them. No one needs to know that, right? No one needs to know that. Okay. Checkpoint City, baby. It's a beautiful city, that Checkpoint City. What do we got next? Oh, we gotta kill a Pokey! Nice, right in our sights. We got him. Oh, now we gotta kill a... Sorry, take a picture of a Wiggler. That's what we're taking pictures. We're not killing the enemies, we're taking pictures. Oh, this one's gonna be interesting. There we go, that was a, that was a great picture. Professor Oak would be proud, because it was right in the center of the screen. And the size was impressive. Wonderful! Oh, now we have a boss fight. Oh, goodness! This is awesome. Okay, roll forward. Got him! Let's go! Let's go! There's all the pictures we took. <laughs> oh man, it's so nice to be playing fun levels and not playing levels like other Dave is playing in the alternate timeline. Yeah, thanks Dave! We're about where we were before the untimely mishap happened last time. Got 350 seconds left to go. Oh yeah! Now I want to take a look at a new trend going on that are like the anti-refreshing levels. I've never played one, but I've heard they're all the rage. It's called non-refreshing. Let's go ahead and try it out. All right, friends, what do we have? This is non-refreshing. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so if you've played any refreshing levels, you know how refreshing levels typically work. This one says, no thanks. Uh, what's it say? Re. Okay, so... <laughs> oh my goodness, this is incredible. <laughs> Go. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. I love this so much. What does it say, yawn? <laughs> so where are we supposed to, oh, I think we need to, oh. <laughs> so the ending was right there, good to know. Not fun. Believe it or not, that was way more creative and way more enjoyable than an actual refreshing level. How are things over at the DMV, Dave? Now we're gonna look at a level called And Then There Were None, made by a Japanese creator called Arnar. Oh, low visibility, but enough visibility for a kumquat. Let's go into the kumquat pipe. I have no idea what's going on right now. Guilty? Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what just happened? Wait, what just happened? What is going on? Are they on trial here? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on yet. So we're we're killing the Galoombas. Oh, you gotta kill them both. Oh. And now it's gone, notice. This is where it was before, and now it's gone. We can go through the key door. This is crazy. Now, what exactly are we doing here? I'm not sure. The Koopa just- you couldn't see it. The Koopa literally just walked off. <laughs> the Piranha- <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is so cool! Oh, this is so, so cool. So now we can go through the P-Switch door. And we have two enemies left to take care of, which is Spike and the Spiny. Now, how do they get taken care of?
<laughs> Wait! What? So we obviously got a checkpoint somewhere. We got massive slowdown going on. So now we're gonna, this is, <laughs> this is insane. This is absolute insanity. So now we're just following the life of the Spiny. The Spiny is the last one left and it is running for dear life. It is trying to find freedom. I have no idea what we just experienced, but that is one of the coolest things I've seen in Mario Maker 2. How are things over with you, Dave? <laughs> Let's take a look at a level by Donkey Mint called Prehistoric Leapfrog. Donkey Mint makes some of the best Kaizo levels out there, and I'm really excited to play this. Let's go ahead. It says unorthodox platforming with mini bosses. All right, friends, what do we have? <laughs> How cool! Oh my goodness! How cool is this? How cool is this? Using Bowser Jr. as a platform is brilliant, taking into account. I don't know how you can manipulate his movement patterns like that, but. Donkey Mint has discovered a way, friends. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious, this is so good. Oh my goodness, okay. No, I, <laughs> I didn't know it was coming back. This is, oh, this is unbelievable. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so I don't, I think, I thought I would need, thought I needed to ride on top of the Ludwig Wiggler combo. I just need to bounce and be on our merry way. Wait, what? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. How did I, how did he die? I, how did I kill him? I only jumped on him once. Okay, there we go. That time he didn't, that time he didn't die. Okay, so I need to bait him out. There we go. Okay, where do I want to chill here? Yes, yes. Yo, Checkpoint City, baby. It's a beautiful city, that Checkpoint City. I, I was, I knew we had to have been close. I was smelling it. Oh. Oh, goodness gracious. It's a bit of a change here. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Come back. Oh goodness. Oh, mushroom. Thank you so much for the mushroom. Appreciate it, Donkey Mint. Oh. Do I have to take damage here? I feel like we had to take damage there. I'm not 100% sure. There we go. Yes! Oh my goodness. This level, it just keeps getting Hecking better and better. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, so good. The amount of testing that had to go into this to make sure the RNG and... Oh, that part is so difficult because you don't know if it's going to jump left or right to make sure all these boss patterns worked with the platforming. That is not where I expected him to jump. Oh my goodness, that is, <laughs> that, <laughs> that part is so hard. 
I'm just going for it. YOLO! Second checkpoint. It's Christmas. We were right there so many times. Oh. Um. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh! This is... Wow! This red coin right here is very difficult to get without taking damage. Ah! You can do it! I've done it. Wow, this boss fight is going to take a while. Eventually. Let's try that again. Instead of going for that one coin first... I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try doing something else. Try doing something... Something like this. Something like this, friends! Let's go. Yo, friends! Are we gaming right now? Are we gaming right now? Let's go! Oh, it's dropping 50 coins from the sky. Dropping 50 baggers from the sky! I don't want to die here. I will take the one up at the end. Oh my goodness, that was one of the most creative platforming levels I've played in a very long time, Donkey Mint. That was absolutely amazing from start to finish. And I would think by now, Dave, you gotta be getting close to the front of the line of the DMV, otherwise it's gonna be closing soon. Oh, the timer is officially changed! We it's 100 seconds till closing time, will we get to renew our license? Before the DMV closes. This reminds me of that scene from Zootopia. We gotta beat the rush hour in. It's night! 50 seconds! Oh, we can see the pipe! We can see it! It's visible! It's visible! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! What's gonna happen? Oh, yes, yes! I'm not t I'm not even I'm not even going for the 50 bagger. I guarantee the 50 bagger was just bait. Wait, what? No. No, no, no. No, no. No. Okay. Yes! Wait, what's over here? <laughs> Success! We got our license renewed. There was 8 seconds left before the DMV closed. We did it, baby. We did it! <laughs> Thanks again, Daft Light. Bean Burrito Line of the DMV is a great addition to the Bean Burrito line of levels. All right, my friends, that's gonna wrap up another hand-plucked batch of Super Mario Maker 2 levels. There was a ton, a ton of incredible levels that we played today, including Bean Burrito Line of the DMV. If you wanna check out any of these levels on your own, and I highly recommend that you do, all the level codes will be in the description below for your convenience. Friends, if you know of any really neat, interesting levels that you think I should be playing for this series, let me know in the comments below, and I will do my best to check them out. I want to play all the cool, fun, and interesting levels that this game has to offer. For now, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an incredible rest of your day, and until next time, take care.